What's up guys? Welcome to another video. And we're going to be taking a look at what's called Farron OS. One of the developers popped in and left a comment on one of my videos about uh, Ubuntu. So I'd figure, well, I'd go in and I'd take a look at the operating system because I saw OS. And every time I see OS, I just get interested because it's something new. It's something to take a look at. And that means more distros for you guys to also take a look at. And sorry, I'm moving my chair around a lot. Uh, it's annoying, I know, but my chair is really crappy. All right, so welcome screen. And is it just going to automatically adapt? How long is this going to take? Oh, it's slow. Oh. Oh, I see what it's trying to do. Huh. This looks like a sort of UK UI based. Interesting. Oh, it's plasma based. I'm not a fan of KDE. One of the main reasons is because the displays, there's a bug and the display never actually goes and works. See, that's exactly why. So we've detected virtual machine. Install VMware tools, I guess. That's just going to install failed. So, yeah, we're going to just minimize this. We're going to go straight into the installer. Uh, same basic installer as most other distros. Come on, pinpoint my location. There we go. And we're going to erase the disk. And install now. So that's pretty much it. And then I'm guessing we'll do the rest of the information when it's done installing. Well, the installation is done and we're going to hit restart now. And we're going to see how this goes. We're going to see if it automatically adjusts to our desktop resolution inside the VM. That's not restarting. So um, is it doing a thing? Is it going to work? Are you going to restart? I'm very impatient. This is yeah and sorry about this but bye <laughs> so starting up from ubuntu this is uh ubuntu base so i believe it's 2004 uh last time i looked it was supposed to be 2004 that boot screen says it's by the looks of it it should be 2004. oh there's the welcome screen okay fair and setup next uh okay we're doing this all over again are we no, I am not French-Canadian. God, okay. I'm getting tired of this. Just because I'm in Canada, it does not mean I speak French. All right? Most Canadians don't speak French. It's not going to happen. Stop. That. And set up. So it's going to configure the locales again. And... Free OS setup program. Okay, so hit done. It's going to do that welcome screen again. This is on an NVMe, by the way. All right. It's going to detect that I'm on um, VM. It's going to let me actually install the VM tools now. Let's see. Well, it didn't fail like last time, so that's good. All right. Hey, there we go. Now, this is something that every OS needs to freaking have. You guys get a perfect 10 points for that one. Just that one. That's awesome. Hit next and third party install restricted codecs. Yes, because people who watch movies and listen to music will want all of these. Um, Windows Media Player trademark QuickTime. Nice. So I know what it's installing at least because it says right here. It includes DVD, MP3, QuickTime, uh, Windows Media formats, and more. That's great. I'm liking this so far. Does it have Discord pre-installed? Because if it does, that's an instant win. Because Discord is something that everybody uses. That's a no. It does not have Discord installed. All right. Well, 
where do I go to enable uh blur? I'm I'm a very big blur guy. I love blur. Uh show FPS, slide, desktop grid. Blur. No blur? Alright, theme. So this is what it has. Mm hmm. That's defaults. Let's try it. Dark. Okay. That's cool. Let's go to icons. I'm not really used to this. What does it have for where where do we just the where's the compositor? Compositor. Crisp and able. It's on X render, that's why. Alright. Hey, there's the blur that I've been wanting. Nice. All right, great. So we got our blur. What else does it need us to do next? Because so if codecs are installed, it's going to ask us to... We're going to go with the Cupertino layout. Because uh, I get a dock. I'm a huge fan of a dock. So this is another 10 points. Nice. Um, of course, I'm already on dark. It's not... There's not very many color selections, and it's a bit sad. I was hoping for a purplish, but all right. Um, Harry Farinos, machine with your Android device. I'd rather jump in a hole and burn myself to death than use an Android device. Don't need to do that and hit enjoy. Okay. All right. So far, out of the box... This experience is amazing. And the best part about it, the best part, mind my, mind my rudeness, the best part, no Firefox. I don't have to go and uninstall Firefox. Oh my god, this is amazing. Um, you can import stuff from Chrome, that's wicked. Uh, but here's the thing, Chrome just won the whole amazing award thing. You want to know why? Because now it's introducing web API and other cool stuff directly built in. So, sorry, this browser kind of sucks. Don't mind me, though. What does this do? Nice. Nice. Look at that blur. This is so cool. I wonder how it handles NVIDIA drivers. It probably handles them exactly how Ubuntu does, so that's fine. Wow. What does this button do about this computer? KDE frameworks, 5.19, generic kernel. So yeah, this is pretty much a, a direct uh, copy. Well, a direct modification of 2004. I shouldn't say copy. Um, let's hit continue. Block trackers and ads. Um, yeah, I'm 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 a strange guy. I like my tabs on the bottom. And finish. That's it looking snazzy nice so oh my god ubuntu they really need to change the name of that website but i you know i'm getting used to it this is pretty cool and the best part i like about it it acts just like mac os in terms of uh the way stuff is handled okay fine you get one more shot you get one more shot now it works but before it didn't yeah, scratch what i said look that's buggy why are you not doing the thing? So it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. You get to send feedback to the developers. Actually, listen, that'd be cool. Uh, guys, developers, if you watch this, and one already did watch one of my videos, reinstall Discord. Okay? Another thing, could you pre-install Google Desktop Music or ask uh, in your setup screen, what streaming service do you use? And if you Spotify, it installs Spotify. Uh, if you use Google Desktop Music Player, it installs that. If you use Tidal, it grabs a player for that and so on. Adding that would be awesome. Having VLC here is cool, but most people stream their music now. So if you added that option in, I think this would be a killer uh, distro overall. Now, we get to check on how lightweight it is, I believe. Open system maintenance, what the heck does that do? Crashed reports and things like that. That's cool. 
But what I want to see um, overall is how much RAM does this use? Because I know people are going to want to know. A gig. It uses just one measly gig. Damn. And Latte Doc. I love Latte Doc. Yeah. Okay. You guys are pretty killer. And I guess, uh, what else should we look at? Let's check out the programs that come pre-installed with this. Uh, is there a button where I can shrink this down? Configure application dashboard. So let's check. Education. We have LibreOffice. Graphics. We have Krita. LibreOffice. Draw. Ocular. I don't know how to spell that. Photos and Simple Scan. Internet. We have Gary, Katie, Katie. You, you can see what's in front of you. And what is this? What is this? What does this do? Is this another thing that allows us to install a web browser manager? Wow. Another 10 points. That's so cool. So we could just go and hit the install button here. Yeah. And it's probably going to add the PPA, update the repositories, and install Brave. Maybe there's updates. Maybe that's the problem. CMake is so out of date. I don't know. I don't really have time to find out right now. 16 minute video. Well. All right, we're going to continue to see what kind of stuff it has installed. So, Internet now has Brave in here. That's great. Multimedia has Cheese and VLC. Office has all the Libra stuff. Calendar. Settings is the normal. They have their own store. Is it actually their own store or is this just a version of Discovery? No, this is software. Okay. Um, can I check repositories or does not allow you to do that? Oh. Mm -mm. Not really a fan of stores. Nice, but no. Uh, disks, I believe that would be the GNOME version of disks. Yes, it is. So this is a mix between GNOME and Plasma then. Um, Chaos Guard, Files, Power and Session. All in all, so far for what I'm seeing, it's an actual, it's a really, really good distro. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. You guys did an amazing job. And the fact that it even runs good inside of a VM is even more a testament to the fact that you guys built an amazing distro. What is this? Updates? Let's check the update manager. I uh, just want software updates. Okay, we're just going to, we're going to go through this real quick because I want to find CMake. Is it in here? Busybox, Ceph. Uh, let's actually hit refresh. And yes, I'll switch to a local mirror after we're done. I want to hit refresh because we just installed a ton of packages. And I just want to make sure that the packages are there. Yes, I want to switch to a local mirror. No, it doesn't look like there's an update for CMake, which is a bit sad. Um... And with that, guys, I'm out. Uh, thank you for watching. This distro is actually pretty amazing. And that's coming from a guy who does not like Ubuntu-based distros, of all things. Uh, I recommend go checking it out, using it, seeing if you like it, maybe even switching to it. Uh, developers, you guys did a great job. I loved everything that you've done, especially this whole browser chooser thing. Instead of forcing people to stick with just what you've pre-installed, you give them the ability to install whatever they want. And the fact that you've included Microsoft Edge here, which is coming soon, is going to be awesome. I'll try to do a small first look at that when it gets to Linux. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.